Okay, today we're going to be talking about putting a polish on the gun, up to and including a mirror shine. Uh, this gun is a brushed finish. You can see, if you saw my video on restoring nicks and scratches, you saw where I had put some scratches on there, but I have buffed those back out a little bit. Just so, because this is the flattest surface of the gun, so it's the best part to show for polishing. Uh, you're going to need three things, including the gun. So you'll need a gun. You'll need an old white cotton t-shirt that you can cut into pieces, or a similar cotton cloth. And you'll need a polishing compound. I use Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. It works really well. I've used this for years. It does a really good job. So then once you have the things that you need, then we can get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take your cotton cloth, your cotton t-shirt, and cut it into multiple little pieces, little squares, just little pieces like this here. And keep two stacks, because you're going to have to use them for two different things. So that's the first thing you want to do is cut those into small pieces. Okay, with one cloth, what you want to do is take the Mother's Mag Polish, just rub it on. Just rub, rub, rub in small little circles. And you see like that where it turns black? That means you need to turn your cloth. You never want to keep rubbing once it's turned black. You've used up that spot on your cloth. Just keep rubbing it in. Turning the cloth every time, you, 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 every time it turns black in a spot. Just keep turning it. Okay, once you've rubbed it in real good for a while, then you take another clean white cloth and you just buff it off. Small circular motions. So every time it turns black like that, turn it. Rub with a clean spot of the cloth at all times. Just small circular motions with your thumb like that. As you can see, that's already starting to shine up. Now I'll repeat this process about a hundred times. Okay, I don't know how well it will come across on camera here, but you can see starting to get that really high gloss shine. So that's just what you got to do, just that little center area right there is rubbing, concentrating on. That took about 15 minutes of rubbing. I've started rubbing on the cylinder a little bit here too. So uh take about 15 minutes to get that, but as you can see, that's about the level I want it to right there. I still want to see a little grain of the metal, but I want it to have a nice polished shine. You can keep going further if you want, but that's what I'm getting to right there. It's all to everybody how much they want. Okay, one thing I do that you may choose to do or not to do uh, is I do put the gun in a vise at one point to get these smaller areas and the rounded areas of the barrel. I'll put it in a vise and I'll just buff it like it's a shoe shot. You know, I'll secure the vise down, of course, when I'm doing it, and then I'll just buff. You just screw this to a big plank of wood, and I'll just do this. Just like, just like I said, just like you're shining your shoes, it's good for the sides of the barrel, it's good for the trigger guard. You know, just do that. And that'll get do that with one cloth to get the polish on, another cloth to get it off, another cloth to get it on, another cloth to get it off. Okay, yeah, this gun is about to where I want it now, polish-wise. Got it to a nice shine. You can see the reflection of my finger there on the side of the gun. It's not exactly a mirror finish, but I'd say it's probably like a 90-95% mirror finish. I could take it a little further if I wanted to, but this is about what I think is starting to look good on the gun. This is the original finish over here, the more the matte. Now, I really like both finishes, but uh, I've got still got a lot of white trash trailer park in me, so nothing to me uh, screams classy with a capital K like a high-polished revolver. So I do tend to lean towards the high polish on my carry guns. And uh, so, <clears throat> whether you want to take it up that high or not is your own personal preference, uh, or whether you want to leave it brushed. Now, you can take this back down to a brush. It is easier to take it up to a polish than it is to take it back down to a good-looking brush. But uh, both ways look nice, but I just prefer a nice high-gloss finish. So this is just my preference. By no means is this the way every gun should be done. It does make it harder to take care of fingerprints and everything. Now, one thing I am going to address here real quick is that some people will want to do this with a Dremel. Or a similar tool. Uh, you can, and it's not as easy to damage the finish polishing with a Dremel as it is uh, grinding with a Dremel, but you can still do it. You can still leave gouges, valleys if you polish too much. With your hands, you're never going to overwork the surface. You're just not going to. It would take too much effort to actually overwork the surface. With a Dremel, you could overwork the surface. But the worst part of a Dremel, and I've seen people ruin some good guns with a Dremel, is the shaft. That spinning shaft of the Dremel. They slip, the pad slides off. You're doing a corner here, and the pad slides off. The shaft hits the edge of the gun it will put an enormous gouge in the metal, one that you can't take out. 
so always be careful when using a Dremel. And if you, the best the best uh, rule of thumb when using a Dremel on a gun like this is just don't. Do it by hand. Take the extra time. I'm not going to lie. This took me about two and a half hours to get this to this. But it's worth it for me because I like the look. And, you know, I just sit in front of the TV, watch television, and polish. I watched uh, two episodes of Top Gear while I was doing this. So, and now I'll go in and I'll watch another couple episodes and I'll do the other side. But, uh, just like I said, that's all it is. It's real easy. It's easy technique. It just takes a lot of time. Avoid Dremels. Avoid doing it by power. Do it by hand. Enjoy it. Enjoy the way it turns out. Take pride in what you did. Uh, it's okay to use a Dremel every now and then to get these tiny little corners and stuff. And I may come in with the Dremel and do some little tiny areas. But being very careful to never let the shaft touch the gun and never be doing any large areas where I'm moving the Dremel a lot. So that's how you polish up a revolver.